Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Boy, I can't quite get those batteries to charge yet. I just want to show you guys something um, before I go crazy and start riding this thing. I got some pre-mixed fuel. It's right here, obviously. Um, and I put a long gas pipe on this thing. And I put fuel on it until all the bubbles went away down here. Right? So those are all good things. Um, when I rebuilt the carburetor, I fixed the choke. So now it locks. Right? That's on, that's off. So... I don't know. It looks like I'm turned on. Those are lights. Let's make sure those are off. Good, those are off. And I don't know, choke is on. Let me know what you guys think. Well, let's see if it starts, first of all. Other than thinking it needs some help with the starter. You guys, would you ride this? Is it running lean? Is it, you think it's okay? I, um, I mentioned conceptually, I know how a two stroke runs. And obviously, I know this two stroke runs because I just started it. But I don't. Chainsaws, if they're running a little bit lean and they overheat, it seems that typically they cool off and they're fine. Or if they do blow up, you know, hopefully you got a few cords of wood out of it. You, you know, I guess a lot of the chainsaws I've typically dealt with are somewhat disposable. So if they're running a little bit lean and they blow up, you go, oops. But I've never had a chainsaw blow up. Um... When it comes to two-stroke stuff, most of the two-stroke stuff I have kind of in the land of junkie, right? Like that Kawasaki is no is no uh, flower child there, right? It's kind of a junker. Um, this 
Odyssey is the first two-stroke I have that really has any value. And I'd really rather not take it out there and blow it up because of I'm running it too lean or something. To me, it sounds like it's running pretty good, especially when you give it a little bit of fuel. It seems to wind right up and want to take right off. Um, I guess my question for you, for you guys... Would you do any further diagnosis on it, or would you just hang a remote gas tank and, you know, get the seat somewhat strapped down and take it out for a rip snort? Um, I'm I'm asking once again because I'm not an expert on two strokes, and I'd I'd really rather not blow this thing up. Anyway, um, if you guys could share some opinions with me, and mostly if you could tell me why, um, Roger's really been helping me out, Roger O'Connor. By the way, guys, you really should go check out Roger O'Connor. He he just um, he got himself a, um, what is it called? Uh, I want to call it a mad dingo. Um, one of those dingo, M- Mako dingoes. Mako Dingos, one of those uh, go karts, um, and he put himself a Briggs Vanguard V twin on it through a torque converter. So I imagine that's going to be one mean sob. Uh, he's set it up with electric start and the the whole shooting match. I guess he's got like one of these guys, um, right? I hope you guys can see it through the weeds. Oh, that's a yurt, a yurf dog. His is a Mako Dingo, I think it is. Mango Dingo, Mako Dingo, Mad Dingo, I don't know. But uh, he got that and he got it running. He's got a Case 220 tractor with a hydraulic drive. He got that running really nice. Um, and he, um, we used to call them uh, Davison tractors. It's a two-wheel tractor. A lot of times, um, people would put plows on them, uh, either on the front to push pl- push snow, or on the back, and you kind of follow behind it, and it plows the dirt, makes furloughs in the dirt, and some of them even had power attachments, um, which would allow you to, um, you know, put a snow blow in the front, or... Um, or uh, a big upside down helicopter, so to speak, so you could cut grass with them, or um, what do you call it? Um, it Turn them into a sickle bar. So some some of the, um, we used to call those David Brown tractors, uh, actually. Um, so, so some of them were set up for power attach for power attachments, and some of them were just meant to push or pull a plow, so to speak. Um, he appears to have the more modern one, but anyway, he got it, fixed it up, and uh, smashed himself a um, eight horsepower Briggs on instead of the little, the little engine that was on there. So, yeah, go check him out. Anyway, um, Roger O'Connor, he's been providing me with some counsel on um, on this Odyssey. Uh, he had he had one in his uh, younger days. We all had younger days, um, and he had an Enduro. Uh, top end on it and all so i'm trusting when he hears mine run he can completely diagnose it from afar (laughs) roger thanks for your help guys go check out roger he does good work folks i want you all to keep your feet down keep your head up and please please get out there and enjoy all your days um take care now folks bye